hi hello welcome to this tutorial so uh, in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to collide between two objects in mesh if you yet to subscribe please subscribe if you like this video share and give thumbs up for it if you have any comments leave your comments in the comments box okay so we'll go into the tutorial so first of all what I'm gonna do I'm just going to have a box cube here I just clicked on it where it will be in the poly model so after clicking it I'm just going to make it like uh, bevel so I'm just going to give on bevel after uh, giving bevel just simple just go into this go for uh, I don't find mesh here so I have to go into FX or animation whichever so I go to animation I create a mesh network for this okay so after creating it just go into mass distribution okay mass distribute after that in this distribute type I just want that to be in grid okay so after making it grid making a little bit bigger grid and also y-axis I'm just increasing it I can make everything nine round up but uh, here I'm not going to do that just uh, bringing it a little bit closer to that and in x-axis also a little bit closer to it okay and going for y-axis also I can just have something like this yeah that's perfect okay so I'm going to use this much of uh, uh, the iron boxes okay I'm just going to use iron boxes here so after creating this what I'm gonna do just go to mesh here mesh one or you can just uh, rename anything you want I'm going to make this as a dynamic okay so click on this dynamic I'm going to use add dynamic node here okay so if I press this one that is press this one you see it goes hits the ground it splashes out something like that okay so it bursts out so I don't want that to happen for that what I'm gonna do I'm just going to bring these uh, things down there before bringing that I'm just going to take my plane here bring it here I just scaling it okay so something like this and make sure that it's perfectly set on this okay fine that's great what I'm gonna do if I just click and if I move this nothing will happen because you cannot move the mesh okay when it is applied mesh is applied you cannot move it for that we have another option called transform what we have to do is just go to mesh if you don't find the mesh just open the outliner from windows click on the outliner go into mesh here and search for mesh one okay here you'll find something called transform click and add transform okay so after adding you'll, you if you press W you'll not find anything here because we have to create controller null okay so controller null we have to create what we have to do right click on this create it so now you find that uh, the gizmo okay the mo tool okay so what happens this will get connected to this uh, null control okay Tra transform so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to bring it at the bottom of this one okay so I'm just going to have top of this uh, the the layer okay so fine that's great fine now what I'm gonna do I'm just going to bring up the palatonic palatonic object so I'm just going to make it bigger in size go to channel box just open this out and I'm going to make it two here okay so that it looks like a little bit uh, like a ball okay fine that's great so I remove the grid here here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to make this a mesh here just go to mesh create a mesh object okay again it creates a mesh here so go to attribute okay so go to mesh to distribute okay and here I want only one here okay then go to mesh here just go to dynamics add dynamics okay so if I play this you see this one and also the base one getting already scattered here you see but I don't want still it hits the 
uh, iron bo boxes okay so what for that what I have to do is just uh, go into the outliner here which I just uh, kept it minimized uh, what I have to do go to mesh one okay mesh one is for this uh, iron boxes what I why I call iron box because I'm going to use chroma for it okay chroma texture for it so I call it as a iron boxes okay so minimizing it just go to mesh dynamics come down here you'll find something called sleeping okay which we always do in this uh, pandemic situation okay so just clicking on this okay go back play this one nothing movement till it hits so if I move, uh, play this then after hitting there is a movement just check this out yes that's amazing right so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to increase the timeline to 250 okay and here you see there is no pressure for this ball it's uh, hitting the ball hitting the boxes but there is no uh, movement heavy movement okay for that what we have to do is in dynamics we have something called okay mass 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 okay so in that one what we have to do is we have to increase the weight of the ball okay iron ball so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to uh, select the mesh tool here okay just go to the dynamics come over here you'll have something called mass I'm just going to give 20 here okay so now if I play this you see you see the difference between the first one and the second one okay that's a great thing right so that's the thing that's how you do okay so coming back to this one so I have to go to mash one here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to reduce the uh, mass of that uh, iron boxes okay so you see in dynamics mass one dynamics I'm just using the mass to be 0.5 now you see what happens okay that's a great uh, difference between first and second one okay so that you can do fine now after creating this what I'm gonna do I'm just going to apply the texture for it material for it then what I'm gonna do uh, I'm just going to apply uh, right click select that right click go to assign material go to Arnold and select a standard material here uh, I can just use the metalness here fully but here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to use preset here just go click on the preset if you want chroma just go and replace chroma okay the same thing with this also okay so I'm just going to click here here right click and go to assign material just go for Arnold and a standard material go to the preset here I'm going to apply gold for this okay so I want to make this one bigger in size and even more bigger here what I'm gonna do in Arnold I'm going to bring light here I'm just going to use sky dome here okay after sky dome if I just uh, view the um, uh, output of this just go Arnold open the renderer okay render view you see this is what you get but I'm what I'm gonna do I'm for reflection I'm going to apply something for this sky dome okay I selected the sky dome going into the color click on this file okay so I have already downloaded HDRI file which I'm going to use it for this I'm just going to uh, load this one okay so uh, that will give me a HDRI image roundabout okay so that is going to reflect on this one okay for this what I'm gonna do I'm just going to uh, go for assign new material again Arnold so I'm just going to use uh, AA material okay so now let's see what's the result so let me play this one okay so now we can see something different okay so different appearance okay so you see the SDRI is just uh, reflecting here on this also okay so where I'm just going to change the chroma to something else so just click on this uh, okay so just go back here to this here and let me try with something else where I can go with uh, copper here so replacing copper let me view this output how it looks okay so now this one is a little bit 
okay for me so I'm just uh, going with the same uh, iron ball itself okay so uh, I and uh, the gold and also the copper box here what I'm gonna do I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here okay so in this uh, viewport I'm just zooming it here let me go inside this I'm just going to play this one out so it's hitting it's just uh, splashing the material now I'm just going to use this as a render let me go into this check the output here so let me pause a while and come back that's it with this okay so I hope you like this video please if you like this video please subscribe share it with your friends and give thumbs up and if you have any comments please leave your comments in the comment box thanks for watching